Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to compare real number expressions. Now, real numbers, as you know, encompass a wide variety of uh, numbers out there. And when it comes to comparing real number expressions, it's just a question of putting things in the proper context. What kind of numbers are you comparing? So for example, if you have one half and one fifth, and you want to compare those, when you're comparing fractions and fractions, the best way to compare them is to determine whether or not they've got the same common denominator. You can't just compare the denominators per se, but you want to make sure that the denominators are the same. So, what, so the denominator, common denominator between 2 and 5 is 10, so 1 half is 5 tenths, 1 fifth is 2 tenths, and as you can tell, 5 tenths is larger than 2 tenths, so that's why 1 half is larger than 1 fifth. Comparing decimals is a little more straightforward because if you have 0.2 and 0.21, for example, you can write them as the same decimal places, 0.20. And as you can tell, 0 0.20 is less than 0.21. If you're comparing radicals with, with each other, if you have square root of 2, square root of 3, because 3 is a larger number underneath the radical, square root of 2 is less than square root of 3. Now, when it comes to comparing unlike real numbers, for example, if you have 1 and square root of 2, you can think of 1 as a radical. 1 is the square root of 1, and that's going to be less than the square root of 2. Same thing if you have something like a 3, and let's just say square root of 8. Now, as strange as this sounds, you can rewrite 3 as a radical and then do the proper comparison there. 3 is square root of 9, so if you have square root of 9 compared to square root of 8, as you can tell, 9 is bigger than 8, so that's why 3 is larger than square root of 8. So when it comes to comparing real number expressions, if you want to put both numbers in the proper context if possible, you should be good to go. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and those are a few illustrations on comparing real number expressions.